do return in one second. Peace, Captain. Let us take heed that we are not caught bending the law. I am not keen on another long-term penitentiary assignment. That gas is going to make us a fucking mint. 120-some cubic meters of it, at a million bits a pop. Take this, you've earned it. When we get buyers lined up, I'm gonna buy a gold toilet to shit in. You're goddamn right. Monarch isn't exactly a walk down the lanes of Byzantium. But here you are with all your limbs attached. Call me impressed, contractor. I guess you're just one of the lucky ones. Look on the bright side. You just started and you're already on the path to a promotion. You've been keeping busy. I hear you took on some extra work at Fallbrook. Catherine says the factory needs some repairs before it's back to working order, but at least it's under our control. Hey, when you were at the slaughterhouse, those swine didn't give you any strange looks, did they? I knew it. I'm probably getting worked up over nothing. Just try not to think about pigs. You never know, you know? Atta girl. I have another job lined up. Assuming you're still interested in work? You're gonna salvage me a space station. Heliospheric Research Station 1084, to be exact. I want it. Cobwebs and all. Interested? Sounds like a major business expansion. It pays to get in on those early, you know. This opportunity won't come around again, Captain. Right now, it's only salvage on paper. Systems and comms have gone dark. Poke around if you're curious why. While the board lets 1084 gather dust, you're gonna swoop in and plant Sublight's flag. Perfectly legit, perfectly legal. Here, this override bypass should get you into the station systems where you can plant my flag. And one last thing. When you get there, make sure you aren't followed. We wouldn't want that. Both. Neither. Right now, it's safer if I keep you in the dark. I'm on the heels of something big. 
play your cards right and I'll clue you in, but right now, I'm not sure who I can trust. Just be careful. Someone might try and use you to get to me. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled...
most advertisement for the following story. to defend your corporate...
protection from the dangers of alien wildlife and the unemployed. Talk to your local manager about a... Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. We're now in orbit of a stellar bay, Captain. behind In case I did not impress it upon you before, I'd like to enjoy my solitude. Thank you again for retrieving the bolt. It's every bit as complex as I'd heard, but I'm up to the challenge. Anyway, what can I do for you? Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. My plan's better. Oh, what's your plan? We skip all the paperwork and reorganize the board quick and violent-like. A so-called hostile takeover. Hmm, a daring notion, but often an expensive one, and fraught with unforeseen consequences. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52, with that data you're holding, of course. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us.
And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood. So it's, it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the, tell the blood from the mud. But I gotta get in there, get right in that baby rap's stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I, shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every damn wrapped out there. Right, what are you staring, wait, you ain't from around here, who are you? Name's Nioka. I'm the best big game hunter on the planet. You're also the loudest big game hunter on the planet. And the drunkest. Shut the fu- F Fair point. I deserve it, though. On account of being the best. You're a hunter? You ever killed a rapt with your bare hands? What stories they are. Ooh, Charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? Well, 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 well. Let's get down to brass nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's, let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rap musk. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? And what a helpful young lady you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. 
Please leave medical advice to the professionals. Now, dearie, who's this pickup for? I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little extra? Aren't you a naught? There are no discounts here. But Auntie knows what to do with mischievous young ladies like you. Oh, I'd have to talk to Mr. Nandi about you, of course. Anyway, is there anyone else needing a pickup from Auntie Abigail? Oh, her. It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. I'm afraid not. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. The one upstairs, where we store our medicines. In the town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the Flower of Enlightenment. On the way, he tried some... rather daring substance combinations. It's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. We're gonna go tussle with some raptodons? Cause I've been practicing my dropkick. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Well, this certainly isn't worth my good health. I'll get you a dose, but I'll have you know, I'm very disappointed in you. There, and good riddance. That's the last help you're getting from Abigail Edwards. me of the crew cabin on one of my first ships.
they left anything good behind? Exploring some ruins, killing some monsters. All we're missing is theme music. Now, huh? Sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. Got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. The only new folk I ever see in town are sublight runners from Fallbrook. But you don't look like one of Catherine's. What can I get you? If you don't see it, I don't got it. Don't go asking for the special reserve. I think I'm gonna be sick. I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. for clues not much I can do for this guy
Whoa, by the stars, my poor heart. I just about pissed my jumpsuit. Most people don't. We're used to folks swooning at our feet. You don't gotta be embarrassed. A healthy survival reflex is nothing to be embarrassed about. Besides, this place is enough to try anyone's nerves. Where should I begin? With the oversized mantisaurs? Or perhaps the rap spewing acid at our walls? The board was right. This place isn't fit for human habitation. And I was a fool for staying. Sanjar, of course. He had all these glorious ideas about how he'd run Monarch. Rest periods between every work shift. No shift more than ten hours long. It all sounds wonderful, until you realize there's only a few centimeters of repurposed steel between you and the deadliest creatures in the galaxy. That's what she said. There's truly no end to my suffering. Only every day. But in case you haven't noticed, we don't exactly get ships on a regular basis, yours notwithstanding. And even if I did scrape together enough to buy passage out with sublight, which would mean reaching Fallbrook without getting eaten, shot, or dissolved into green goo, what then? Nothing, that's what. Because I've been stuck here running this dump of a diner for years. So even if I could get out of here, no one's gonna hire me. Even talking about it has my blood pressure up. I've really gotta stop. Lucky you. Good day to you. Hey, Ellie, you wanna know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only, we'd have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? Hey, why do you always do that thing with your eyes whenever I talk to you? You on the alert, maybe? Looking out for our hidden enemies? Let's just say you remind me of someone.
Ah, the charmer. Welcome back. Drink, chat, or business? All of the above? Says someone who's never had any fun. Exactly. See, I'm glad someone on your crew's got some sense of... Sensible. Got her head on straight. Whew, that hits the spot. Right in the, uh... Oh, no, there it is. There it is. Yes. We're in business. Let's go. That was fast. I gotta see about stalking some on the ship. You be careful. The first one's free. After that, they'll offer you gainful employment. Great. Where to? Oh, Hiram? I ain't checked in on that man in an age. He's running the giant radio tower we lovingly call Devil's Peak. We'll be going south and west, mostly along the road till we're past Fallbrook. Out there, there's a western slope that'll lead us through some, uh, some fun. You like hunting, right? That's fun. If you're more of a spelunker, Rotting River will take you into the mountain caverns. We can discuss options when we get closer. That said, uh, three's already a crowd. I don't mind waiting somewhere until you got a spot open. Mighty big gun you got there. I'm looking forward to seeing you use it.
done with your bare hands? <laughs> right? A Raptodon once snagged a medallion of mine and made off with it. Had to chase it halfway to Fallbrook. And I finally caught it. I was so mad I tore its jaw clean off. Reached in, wrenched my medallion from its belly. Caught me an awful burn. But I'd say it was worth it. A burn? You were disfigured? That rap leave you with some sort of grisly looking scar? Hey now, woman's gotta have her secrets. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Darlings? <laughs> Seriously? I mean, uh, yeah, you're looking at the Darlings' newest recruit. Boss is a shoe in for Rookie the Quarter. I'd heard they'd gotten a new hacker. Is that why everyone's making such a fuss about you? But what are you doing on Monarch? Ha! <laughs> Maybe we're not so isolated as I thought. You get to listen to games all day? Stellar Bay really is a paradise. It's pretty swell but it's a whole lot better with company. Say, I don't think I've seen you before, and I'd remember that face. I'll try not to be a stranger then. Name's Felix, by the way. You should stop by more often. The games are always better when you've got someone to celebrate with. Sounds like a good time. I wouldn't mind bringing a couple drinks and settling in for the pennant match. Look at me, getting carried away again. So, what can I do for you? Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. Right, so the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader, other times he'd keep betting on a losing team, started owing the wrong people money. Sorry. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Hey there, Felix. What can I do for you? For a while, yeah. They'd come in all fuzzy and really late. Probably on account of all that iconoclast nonsense Graham was broadcasting. But lately, they've been coming through a lot better. I can almost see Letty Guzman's remaining teeth.
the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Hey! What are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. Data on that cartridge was even more damning than I could have hoped. And to have something on UDL of all the corporations. You've given us quite the advantage. Anyway, what can I do for you? But that's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them, eventually. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Captain, let's talk. The caves back east are safest. We can head up this path if you want to shoot your way through a few nightmares on your way up. I got my hiking boots on. They're actually the same as my ass kicking boots. I can't afford another pair. It is a trek, isn't it? Almost like we don't have working lifts. Whoa. 
Coding! Roy take it. Done, Captain. And here we are. Told you we'd make it in one piece. Station ain't too far now. Tower on a place called Devil's Peak. Oh no. How the This station's under the protection of the corporate compliance crew. You a marauder? Cause me and my sunshine, that's my gun if you were wondering. We don't take kindly to marauders. A coherent enough response, I reckon. Must be true. You're clear. But I would caution you against pressing on ahead. This station's plumb crawling with marauders, you know. I take it you ain't met the other C3s. Me and Sunshine are doing exactly what we've been tasked with. You want more details? You ought to talk to my crew. They're guarding a small barracks to the southeast, by the edge of the mountain. There is nothing I'd enjoy more, but the C3s play it by the book, usually. Go petition the boss man. Maybe you can convince him to alter my duties. See that path that runs underneath that giant archway? Follow it on down. There's a little station near the cliff. You'll find the rest of my crew there.
How'd you get up here? Through the caves? Good answer. I wasn't looking forward to gut-shotting you. See, the thing is, I'm with the corporate compliance crew. C3, if you will. We're mercs. And our current contract mandates that we annihilate any creatures or persons that emerge from the tunnel. Allow me to intervene. It's my job to mediate any conflicts of interest regarding C3 and third parties. All right. First things first. To make a decision in this dispute, I'm gonna need to know what your role in your organization is. A lean but efficient corporate structure. I'm impressed. Still, I gotta wonder. What are your intentions regarding Devil's Peak Station? That is why you've wandered out here, I presume? Our guidelines allow us some leeway in identifying threats to our client. Your unorthodox profession makes me think we ought to remove you from the premises permanently. However, the terms of our contract specifically targets marauders, iconoclasts, MSI operatives, and anyone deemed to hobo-like in appearance. As you don't appear to fit any of those categories, I'm afraid I can't quite make a call on you. Don't we as a standing policy provide an alternative to termination via financial restitution? Addy, our chief financial officer, could confirm, but I'm betting if you're willing to compensate us for our lost time and productivity due to this arbitration, you could pass. I guess we might could. There's something I like about you. Can't put my finger on it, but I feel like I'd rather have you with us than against us. All right. Lance, unless you have a final point of contention to make, I'd say she's clear to go. Nah, I'll sign the clearance form. Just, I must advise you to steer clear of Devil's Peak Station. It's teeming with marauders. Anything else you need? Trying to say we didn't do our job? I'll have you know our contract was to stop any marauders coming from the caves. Didn't say nothing about the ones taking the mountain path. We'll simply clear them out later, once we've got the go-ahead from Berthold. That's right. Berthold Fox is our boss man, founder, president, and CEO. Bertie went down into the caves on a hunt for marauders, give or take, six hours ago. He's a hands-on type. Likes to handle the tougher tasks himself. Although, he should have been back, going on six hours now. I'd ask you to check the caves for him, but then we'd have to kill you when you crawl back out. Space no. The contract doesn't target C3s. How do we enforce it otherwise? I might cold-blooded, ain't she, Donald? Done. Use this. Signal's locked to Birdie's tracker. Should lead you right to him. Or his body. Whatever you find. Bring him back to us, okay? I need to talk to you, Captain. Hey, got a favor to ask you. Figure while we're out here in the wilderness anyhow, we might stop in on an old friend of mine. Preferably before we get to Hiram's. It's on the way, don't worry. You don't seem the type to run off and get yourself killed, and I could use the help. I'll be up front with you. I hate asking for help. I hate it. Every time I give someone the opportunity to disappoint me, they seem to make it their most immediate goal. But this, what I'm thinking, 
it's dangerous. Nothing I can't, we can't handle. I used to run with a band of hunters, friends, six of us. We were on Monarch when the corporations pulled out and we helped a lot of people pick up the pieces. I haven't seen two of them in years and the rest I know to be dead. I'd like to gather their effects and bury them all in the same places with the family we once were. First, we go to Hayes. I buried him a ways from our encampment. I need to pay my respects. I'll show you where he rests. He had a medallion in his effects. That's what I'll bring home to bury. Then we find my two lost trackers and bring them home. A long time ago, we built an encampment in one of Monarch's cave systems. Trouble is, a mana queen showed up and kicked us all out. If we can find Rebecca and Anders, they'll know how to lure her out. Then we kill the bitch and bury everyone's medallions together. <laughs> Thanks, Cap.
Down he go. With the best. must have sealed the door. He's... he spooks easy. of Hiram's home. <laughs> Just kidding. Guy never sets foot outside. Wonder why they call it Devil's Peak. Ain't really a peak. It's, you know, two peaks. Don't die! That assist was a violation of corporate law if I ever saw one. Since it was to my benefit, and we're largely in lawless lands, I'll look the other way. C3 owes you one, stranger. You haven't seen Constance, have you? Ah, there's her torso. And better be her legs over yonder, never mind. I'm Bertold. What in the void are you thinking, creeping around a mana queen like that? At the time, I was thinking... Please don't see me, oh law, I don't want to die, nah nah nah. Now I'm thinking it was stupid to come in here. Means they're still holding the post then, good. You might head on back. We can talk more there where it's safe. 
I'll be on my way. Once I've gathered up Constance's parts. Make it look so easy.
with us. Here they come! Hell of a job. Hey, Mannequin Slayer! 
Glad you made it in one piece. After all, not everyone's so lucky. Meet my corporate compliance crew. Then check out our weapons locker inside. I reckon you'll find something you like. Then we call it even between us. We were hired to do so, why else? You did get the memo that we're mercenaries. Our client's a bit unorthodox, sure. He calls himself the broker, and prefers the glow of a terminal to flesh and blood interaction. But I can't fault his work ethic. Our current gig's to stop, by means of lethal force, any creatures exiting the caverns, including but not limited to marauders, iconoclasts, and agents operating for the MSI. The corporate model is the oldest and most efficient, not to mention stable structure history has ever shown us. Plus, corporations got certain rights, not entailed to individuals. I lead the C3s. Addy covers our payroll and expenditures, Lance handles the human capital, and Donald is our charming public face. Our system works. We've racked up more confirmed kills than any other crew you can hire. You drive a hard bargain, Manic Queen Slayer. It don't make much financial sense for C3 to expend resources on any killing beyond the contract stipulations. As the Marauders didn't enter from the caves, the requirements are... Mm, murky. At the same time, we do want to keep our client alive. Until the payment's cleared. We recommended the client safeguard himself. So I don't expect that the main doors will be accessible. Find a way to open them, and we'll clear any hostiles on the inside. I'd best radio ahead for Joy and Hudson to prep for us. They'll be at the station entrance, ready with our finest auto mechanicals to assist you. C3s, prepare to move out. Wraps. Let's clear this sulfur sodden fucks out so Hayes can rest in peace. Hayes was the best self-sacrificing son of a saint I ever met. Halcyon is worse off without him. Now, if we're gonna lure the Manta Queen out, we'll need to find Rebecca and Anders. They took a UDL contract on Terra 2, and we never heard from them again. Think it's time I call in a favor with Hiram. If anyone can track them down, it's him. I don't know much about it. It paid well, so they took it. They said they'd be back in a couple of weeks and that maybe we could all use the money to get off Monarch. That was a long time ago. 
I should have. I, I really should have. But soon after they left, Hayes and the others died. And to be honest, after him, I, I stopped trying because it hurt like hell to do so. Well, shit, I'm working on it, all right? You think I like lying awake at night? You think I like stewing on the similarity between rap screams and my friend's death throes? I'm... I'll get there. Quips from you ain't gonna help me along the way, so stow it. Now, come on. Let's make tracks before Hiram dies of old age. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger.
Markov. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. We ain't responsible for the interior, so I guess you get to party without us. Good luck, stranger. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but... by Marauder? And you, Nioka, what are you doing lugging a stranger into my station? You could use the socialization, you son of a bitch. Also, she hired me. To what purpose? I happen to have some significant problems I am dealing with right now. Marauders, running out of purpleberry wine three days ago, not being able to bloody broadcast. No, no, no. We'll deal with information-related business later. As I said, there are bigger problems threatening my life and livelihood at this very moment. The Marauders want me dead. And since my hired hands have clearly turned idle, it appears I need you to clear out the threat. As my newest contractor, you may call me... The Broker. Or we can call you Hiram, on account of that's your damn name, and doubly on the account of The Broker being a dumbass alternative. Aside from you. Oh, now they'll take action. It's about time, I tell you. I'm up to my neck and marauders in here, which, by the by, they were supposed to prevent. I barricaded the broadcast center, but I can only hold out for so long. Clear the marauders out, and I'll pay you double the going rate. They destroy the transmission equipment, and I'll be out of business. The elevator and doors to the second floor are back online. Hurry before I have to lock them down again. Too many, considering I hired a bunch of no-good mercs to keep them out in the first place. Already, they've caused considerable damage to the station's property. If they take down the broadcast equipment, I'll be out of a job, permanently. Aside from the bits I'll be paying you, you said you wanted something from me, something information related. I'll give it to you, in person, once I'm safe. Hey, elevators to your right. Get ready. C3's entering through the main doors as we speak. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger. Wish we could join you, but I got orders to stay put. Damn, but I like the way you fight, stranger.
Light him on fire, ladies and gents! Huh? What was huh? that? Get of them, I think. Ah, Marauder free at last. I'll get the door. You hurry on in. 